What's up, YouTube and Call of Duty enthusiasts? It's your boy, Crazy Snowboarder, and I'm coming to you from my fucking new command center. I put a picture on Twitter if you guys follow me. But today we're going to talk about your gaming pedigree, if you will. Where you started gaming, when you started playing online, what kind of system you had, what kind of games you played. So strap in, kiddies, because it's about to begin. So guys, gaming pedigree, basically your gaming chops, where you started from. I'm able to say that I started all the way back in the Atari days. I'm really dating myself here, but all the way back in the early 80s, playing Pitfall, Space Invaders, with that stupid joystick and that one button on there, and that was the coolest thing in the world to me. Playing on that shitty CRT television, where we only had 12 channels. 12 channels. Do you guys understand what it's like to only have 12 channels? No, you don't. And that was huge back in the day. 12 channels. I remember on Channel 11 watching G.I. Joe, the animated series. Man, nostalgic. So from the Nintendo, we went on, from the Atari went out to the Nintendo. And when the Nintendo came out, it was $99. And I remember my parents saying, you can't afford that. Or we can't afford that. So me and my sister, we saved up all our money and bought the Nintendo. And it came with Super Mario Brothers, the first one, and Duck Hunt. With the gun, with the light gun. Man, those were the days. We used to play Super Mario for hours. You can never beat that game. Well, I never beat it. Because you, you couldn't save games back then. You always had to start at the beginning. And you had three lives. You could get more lives throughout the game, but I was a kid. Didn't really know how to play that well. So Super Mario Brothers, and then there was Contra. If you're in, you know, your early 30s, late 20s, you'll know this. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. 99 lives in Contra. That was a cheat code for all the Konami games. Oh, man. And then there was the Game Genie. With the Nintendo. Put your cheat codes in. I was a kid. I always cheated in those games. I sucked at games back then. After that came the Nintendo 64. And that was my real introduction to first person shooters. Goldeneye. If you're my, if you're my age, you remember Goldeneye. You bring your friends over, you play four person split screen. God. God dang. Those were the days, man. You didn't play online because there was no online yet. There was no Xbox Live. There was no PSN. So playing with your boys, all sitting in the same room, talking shit, telling them their mothers are gay. Shit like that. And then I remember my dad got a PC. And when he got that PC, then came Doom. I don't... Doom was amazing. He used to take me to work with him. And his engineers at work would all play Doom during lunch on the on the network server for their company. Whew. That was really the beginning of where I was like, wow, this is great. Playing Doom. I remember I even used to play that game at home, just fucking with single player. For hours, put my headphones in, turn my music on, and I would just play Doom. Just geek out on Doom. Then Duke Nukem on the PC. Duke Nukem 1, 2, and 3. Doom 1, 2, and 3. Damn. Those were the days, guys. Those are the days where graphics were shitty. But it was just still awesome to play. <laughs> so then came the Sega. The Sega wasn't really a big hit in my house. I honestly can't even remember a single game that I had for Sega Genesis. I didn't play Sonic. I wasn't really big into Sonic. I think I had a couple fighting games. That's about it. But then the Xbox came. The Xbox was a whole new level of gaming. Because it came with Halo. The first Halo? That was awesome. It's 
play that single player for hours. Hours. Then I get into, you know, some other random games. I think I had a game called Black or something like that. It was precursor to Call of Duty. I, I did get the Call of Duties, but I didn't play them online yet. I didn't know what online gaming was. I Well, actually, I did know what online gaming was. I was in my early 20s then when I was playing on the regular Xbox. First big fucking machine of an Xbox. Actually, the Xbox One looked like the original Xbox 360. Just a little shinier. But then the 360 came out. Modern Warfare! Modern Warfare. That was when I started playing online. Just a little bit. Just to wet my beak a little bit. Then World at War. World at War was a broken game. I hated that game. I actually refused to play it online. I was I was happier to play single player games than I was to play World at War. Now looking back, I'll play World at War right now. It was it was fun. But you know everybody fucking complained about it. Modern Warfare two though. That was when I started becoming a hot, hardcore online gamer. My friend Garrett fucking called me up one night. He's like, you got Xbox Live Gold, right? I'm like, hey. He's like, get on and play Modern Warfare 2. So I got on. Got my ass fucking handed to me. But I loved it. That was where the addiction really started for online gaming. And it is an addiction. If you're sitting there playing for fucking hours, it's an addiction. Then Black Ops. First Black Ops. Hours played at that game. Hours! Kill death ratio was terrible. I actually got that kid Cove Ops, Doomed Wraith. That's when he started. Black Ops. We were both on vacation from work. Over the holidays. And he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm fucking playing Black Ops online. What are you doing? He's like, I'm just sitting at home. He didn't even have an Xbox then. I'm like, go buy an Xbox and buy fucking Black Ops. Let's do this shit. So that motherfucker went out and bought an Xbox. Started gaming that day, son. That day. And he's been hooked ever since. I was gaming with him fucking ten minutes ago. Then Modern Warfare 3. Great game. Had its problems. Had its problems. But still a great game. And Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, there's a ton of people that hate on it. I've never hated on the game. I've hated on... The only thing I've really hated on is the spawns. Sometimes. And the fucking lag in this game. The lag is terrible! Fucking killing me, Treyarch Vandahar. <clears throat> Even today, it came in and I was fucking 3 barn. Why would I be 3 barn? I don't know. Well, guys, tell me your gaming pedigree. Where did you start? Probably most of you started on the Xbox 360. That's the logical thing. I, I've never owned a PlayStation, so... If you started on PlayStation, that's cool, too. Answer me this, though. I hear that playing Call of Duties is actually easier on the PlayStation. Like, it's easier to drop big games where you're going, like, 50 and 20 or something like that. I don't know. If it's easier, maybe I'll buy a fucking PlayStation. See what I could drop on there. Because if, if I could drop 50 games on here, I could drop 100 games on there, I believe. I don't know, guys. That's my time, so I'll see you later, and have a good night. Wait till my next video. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thanks. Bye.